Look at this beautiful baby. Look at this little girl. She is eight weeks old. She is a beautiful thing. And I'm going to attempt to do this video. The topic is the foot bump. How to get them to stop biting on your shoes and your shoelaces and your pants legs. And we're going to see if she'll cooperate. Hey, Nola, you want to bite on Daddy? Let's see how she does. Hey, that's a good girl. I'm just going to walk around. And when, when she wants to bite on my pants, I'm just going to bump her with my foot. That's a good girl, Nola. Good girl. Uh -uh, I'm just going to bump her. No jumping up. Good girl, Nola. Good girl. Good. No, uh, uh. Good girl. That's a good. Hey, Nola. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. When she first came out, she was. Now she's getting some water. She was biting my pants. Now, since she's not cooperating, maybe she will. Come here. Hey, Nola. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Uh, uh, uh. Now she's biting my pants. Yes. You didn't see it because she was biting it from behind. Uh, uh. Little foot bump. Good girl, Nola. Four on the floor. Good girl. Four on the floor. Good girl. When she has all four feet on the ground, I'm going to say that. Four on the floor. Good girl, Nola. Good girl. Four on the floor. Good girl. And when she gets up off the ground or bites me, I'm going to give her a foot bump. Good girl, Nola. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Uh -uh. Little verbal correction. Uh -uh. That's a good girl, Nola. Anyway, uh, the idea is when they want to, and especially when they first came out, like she did, when I was walking across the yard and back, she was attacking my pants legs, and I'm like, Jay, let's shoot the foot bump video. Uh! So <laughs> by the time I got up here, she's got her mind on other things. But anyway, here's the key. When they're coming up to you, these little puppies, and they want to bite your shoes, your shoelaces, man, they love shoelaces, or your pants legs, what I do is just give them a little foot bump. Foot bump. Hey, hey, Nola. Hey, sweet Nola. That's a sweet girl, Nola. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Four on the floor. Good girl. Four on the floor. Good girl. Let's see if she'll do it. Nah, she's laying down. Anyway, the foot bump, when they jump up on you, just give them the knee or the little foot bump. What are we doing here? We're changing conditions. When she has four on the floor, she's getting love, and she's hearing her name. Good girl, Nola. Good girl, Nola. That's a good baby, Nola. You know. She, those conditions are when all four feet, all four, four paws are on the ground, on the floor. She's getting loving. She's hearing her name. She is liking this. Those conditions are great, and it only happens when she has all four on the floor. Good, come Nola. That's a good girl, Nola. That's a good baby. Good girl. Four on the floor. Good girl. Four on the floor. Good girl. Four on the floor. That's a good girl. I, could this be? I just gave her two or three little foot bumps and she responded. I mean, she, she kind of quit. Sometimes they learn quickly. Now, later on, an hour from now or tomorrow morning when I walk around with her at first light, the sun's just coming up, she'll be wanting to bite me again on my feet and I'll foot bump her again. But after two or three or four or five or six days, sessions every day, foot bumping, those are conditions. And she kind of gets it like, you know, I don't want to bite daddy's shoes and shoelaces and pants anymore. I don't like the conditions. I'm going to respond by not doing that. Hey, Nola. Hey, sweet girl. That's a good girl. Uh uh. Good girl, Nola. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Four on the floor. Good girl, Nola. Now, it's repetitive. You got to be consistent. Everyone in your household needs to use these techniques. It's very important. But the foot bump and the knee, ah, uh, four on the floor. Good girl. Those two things will really help you when you're raising a puppy. And speaking about raising a puppy, this is just one of 
Oh, a lot of things that are a part of my own personal puppy training system. All the things that I do when I raise up a German Shepherd puppy. So if you want to raise up your puppy and be confident you know what you're doing and end up with a great adult dog that's under control and got all the commands, hand signals, vocal commands, everybody doing what they need to do, get my puppy training system. It'll really, really help you a lot. From all of us to all of you, thank you. GermanShepherdMan.com